I would get Rodney Ford here with Jessica. She's my volunteer for today. I want to take one more simple exercise, and this can be something that you can actually use as a warm up. And let's say you get a client that comes in, maybe they're a little mentally foggy. Physically, they're okay, maybe they're pretty well rested, or maybe they're not, but they're just kind of in a daze or in a funk and they're just kind of feeling blah. This is a way that you can help kind of bring them back online mentally to kind of engage their brain. And this is stuff that Dr. Roy Sherman has talked about. You can use a tennis ball, or you can use even a little body sport ball, or like a little Pilates ball, something that's a little heavier, but not, it doesn't have to be a medicine ball unless you've got a pretty big, strong, early person that you want to work with. But this is just something to get them to move. And by using triangulation and getting them to move and concentrate on catching, we're just going to do a little throw and catch, a little toss and catch. You'll see Ian O'Dwyer do this all the time in his studio. But just using stuff like this can be very powerful to get somebody engaged and to actually bring them kind of online and prepare them to work out. And you'll, you, you can actually use this as an assessment and engage to see where that person is. If this works and they get a little bit refreshed, then you know that you have somebody that you can start to put through a, a little bit more of an intense workout. If this doesn't work, then there's either other issues going on or this just doesn't fit who they are. So make sure the person is okay and comfortable catching. Jessica is very comfortable catching the ball and she throws it pretty well. Hopefully she doesn't hit you. So here's a real simple, real simple tool. All I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the ball and again the ball is going to triangulate her. I just throw it where I want it and she has to catch it. So I can change the distance that she travels from her body. I can change the height of what she has to move. And all she has to do is return it. But you can see that she's smiling and she's got a little bit of a giggle factor going on, which is what we want. So all I'm going to do is play and then I can bounce it. So now she has to concentrate on reacting to where the ball bounces and it allows you to grab it. And now she's trying to <laughs> Get me. And so sometimes, sometimes these are as good for the client as they are the trainer. So sometimes the trainer actually benefits from this. So if you're a trainer watching this and you're feeling kind of blue, get a client that wants to throw things at you and throw it back and that'll actually work for you. So again, simple, simple tools that you can use to help bring someone back from a fog or help prepare them mentally and physically for what's coming up. All right, so the triangulation worked on her brain, but it also worked her tissue. So I can actually create a mobilization effect, as we talked about in the, the triangulation series in the summary wrap-up. I can create that mobilization effect by simply just throwing the ball and getting her to move within her bubble. Thanks for joining us, Jessica. Thank you again as always. Bye-bye.